Okay. Well, hi, everyone. It's so good to see so many faces on here. Welcome to our Spring 2024 Jammy Career Connect series finale. Our topic this month is GSCP on the red carpet. And this is an exciting opportunity to learn more about how the fields of education or psychology intersect with entertainment. My name is Yas Hardaway, and I'm the Executive Director of Career Services at GSCP. And this program is a partnership between our GSCP Career Services and our Alumni Relations team. So for those of you who are new to our JAMI Communities of Practice programs, you may be wondering, what is JAMI? JAMI is a Swahili term for community, and our JAMI Communities of Practice programs are designed to provide up-to-date labor market information in the fields of education and psychology, and to connect our community to a broader professional network. In the fall, we host our JAMI Career Webinar Series, which are moderated Q&A panels. And in the spring, we host our JAMI Career Connect sessions, which are interactive learning sessions that consist of breakout room conversations. So what do we hope that you will get from this program today? We hope that through this program, you will gain clarity about the next step in your career planning. We hope that you will gain increased confidence in your ability to successfully move toward your career objective. And we hope that you will connect to a broader network of professionals from the Pepperdine community. At GSEP Career Services, our vision is that every graduate would have the clarity, the confidence, and the community to be able to access, thrive in, and transform the future workplace. So uh, my colleague Kate will put in the chat a link to our participant drive. And in this drive, you'll find folders for all our JAMI Career Connect sessions. And in the one for today, you can access the speaker lineup, which has the headshots and bios of all of our speakers today so that you can learn a little bit more about them. After our program today, we will also put the recording in the drive as well. Um, just know that the breakout room conversations will not be recorded, only the introductions and the conclusion of the program. Okay, so let's talk about the format. So in a moment, I will introduce my colleague, the Director of Alumni Relations, who will be moderating um, the speaker introduction. So she'll invite each of our speakers to introduce themselves and share a little bit about themselves. And then we'll immediately go into breakout rooms. So you'll have an opportunity to choose your own adventure and to choose a breakout room that you would like to go into first. Um, after about 15 minutes, I'll invite you to switch rooms so that you have the opportunity to hear from another perspective. So I will signal us when it's time to switch. Then we will all come back together to the main room and share some um, information about resources and um, upcoming events so that you um, are up to date on what's happening at GSCP. So without further ado, I'd like to hand it over to my colleague and friend, Dr. Renee Dorn, our Director of Alumni Relations and an alum of our Organizational Leadership Doctoral Program. Dr. Dorn. Thank you so much, Yaz, and welcome to everyone. Thank you for joining us in this jammy session um, for our GSCP on the red carpet. We're so excited to have such great speakers today. And we have actually six speakers from our GSCP community. I'm going to introduce each one of them so you can get an idea of what they bring to the table and so that you'll be able to decide which breakout rooms you want to visit. So the first alum I'd like to introduce is Dr. Anita Cow. She is a GSCP alum and she is doing great things in film and television. Welcome, Dr. Cow. Thank you for having me. Um, yes. I'm Tell excited us to be about here. The program you graduated from and the projects you're currently working on. So the program that I graduated from was the Organizational Leadership Program. And uh, I actually got into the program because I was um, writing and producing film and I wanted to become more active in the entrepreneurial side. And so I wanted to learn how to lead organizations and be able to take my skill set and expand upon it. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. That organizational leadership program is excellent for that. Yes. And tell us, tell us about the projects you're working on now. 
Okay, so the projects that I'm working on now is I am working on doing some polishing on a script for a feature film that's been financed, that's starring Wanda Sykes and Lawrence Fishburne. It's filming in Puerto Rico this summer in June. And then I'm also working on um, the campaign for PBS for a four episode series that I was a producer on called 10 Days and Watts that's being promoted for the regional Emmy Award. So we're trying to garner support because it's a campaign. And so mm -hmm. I'm working on that. And I'm also the president and CEO of Atina Film Studios where I do consulting work, writing, as well as producing. And I finance short films, commercials, and promos for young adults who are interested in learning professional filmmaking. A lot of them are in IT at Microsoft. I always tell them, don't quit your jobs, <laughs> but you have the money through Microsoft and your salary to be able to produce your own independent content on a high level. And so I just got back. We just did our first um, short film narrative this weekend. And then I'm also a lecturer at NYU and I teach consulting, development, and um, producing. Wow, you are doing a lot. So we really thank you for being with us today. So <laughs> if, if anyone wants to hear more about what Dr. Cal is doing, please join her in her breakout room. So thank you so much, Dr. Cal. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have another GSCP alum from the Doctorate in Organizational Leadership Program. We have Dr. Calvin Bonds. So welcome, Dr. Bonds. Thank you so much and good afternoon, everyone. Dr. Bonds, tell us a little bit about what you're doing and, and the current projects you're working on. I will, but first let me say that my education at Pepperdine University really helped to enhance my career in entertainment and Excellent. leadership and all of those things as a consultant. So um, my dissertation was in storytelling, by the way. Uh, so currently, I work in a few different areas. Um, in the areas of leadership, I work. I have programs in the Los Angeles Unified School District where I teach children leadership, coding, sports. Uh, I'm a consultant. I do diversity, equity, uh, and inclusion training and consulting uh, in the area of, of entertainment. I've done everything from acting. I was a runway model. I sang opera. Currently, I'm a publicist for Oscar-nominated films, where we currently have six Oscars. We have 32 nominations. Uh, we have an Emmy nomination. Um, I also do film and distribution, so I help put films on... Um, on, on TV, on different networks. Uh, currently, uh, from in the area of social impact, uh, we help a lot of people in African soil, filmmakers to bring, to put their films uh, here on, on platforms. So a lot of them are making money on networks that they don't have access to, but they're making money. Um, and so I'm, I'm, a, I'm a servant leader and I'm so happy to be before you today. And I'm looking forward to talking to each and every one of you about what I did and how you can do it too, or just go on your own paths of success. This is fantastic. Okay, this is such a great topic. Thank you, Dr. Bonds. Thank and you, my pleasure. If anyone wants to hear more about what Dr. Bonds is doing, please join him in his breakout room. All right, thank you, thank you. Next, we have another person from our GSCP community. She is one of our tenured professors at GSCP. So welcome, Dr. Judy Ho. Hi, Dr. Dorn. Thank you so much for having me join today. I'm really excited to speak to all of you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. So, Dr. Ho, I want you to tell everybody about your background and some of the projects you're working on, because I know you have a new book coming out. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Dorn. So um, as Dr. Dorn already mentioned, I am a tenured professor at Pepperdine University. This is my 14th year at the university. I have a private practice as well in Manhattan Beach, and I'm a triple board certified clinical and forensic neuropsychologist. I uh, do a good amount of work in the media. I've hosted the doctors. Um, that was uh, 14 years in the running. I was only um, involved in the last maybe six or seven years of it. It was an amazing time and just such great people um, that I got to interview and work with. 
Uh, I have two uh, books out. The first one is Stop Self-Sabotage. And the newest one that Dr. Dorn mentioned is The New Rules of Attachment, which actually just dropped last Tuesday. I also recorded the audio book for that. So that was just such a, a fun it. treat. Yeah. Great. Wonderful. And so all of these projects you have going on and you're also working here with GSEP. So that's amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Dorn. <laughs> so if you want to hear more about what Dr. Judy Ho is doing, um, how she got to where she is today, how she's able to publish these books and, and work in television as well, please join her in her breakout room. So thank you, Dr. Ho. Thank you. Okay, next, we have another GSCP alum, Monica Zhao. And this is an interesting one because she is in, when we say GSCP on the red carpet, this is in gaming. So Monica, welcome to our jammy session. Thank you, Dr. Doran. Good afternoon, everyone. Great to see everyone here and thanks for having me. Yes, thank you. So tell us about the program that you graduated from and then tell us a little bit about what you're doing in the gaming industry. Cool. Um, I was in the MA program of psychology with the focus in um, clinical psychology. And I am currently the VP of marketing at Metaworld Entertainment. Um, so we're a gaming company. We've published games for a couple of Hollywood movie IPs, such as Terminator, Kung Fu Panda, and more. And currently I'm working on a new project at uh, utilizing NBA global license to create an immersive metaverse type of game. And this game is aims to offer basketball fans a unique social experience and and leveraging the blockchain technology uh, to foster engagement um, and, and the community within the sports and gaming ecosystem. And in addition to my role at Metal Entertainment, I'm also the founder of Threx Celsius Partners. We are an incubator dedicated to nurturing projects at the intersection of gaming, blockchain, AI, and some infrastructure. So um, it's been a fascinating journey from uh, my psychology uh, program to so the forefront of marketing and innovation in the entertainment and technology sector. And I can't wait to share some of the insights and experiences I've gained along the way with all of you here today. That is so exciting. Oh, my goodness. If anyone wants to hear more about what Monica is doing in the gaming industry, and how her degree led her to where she is today. Please join her in her breakout room. Thank you so much, Monica. Next, we have another, uh, actually it's a GSEP student, a current student, and she is in entertainment. I'm gonna let her tell you all, all about that, Tati Elsher. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Tati, thank you for joining us. Tell us what program you're currently in and then what projects you've worked on and what you're currently or getting ready to work on. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here and um, I'm doing my PhD in global leadership and change. I came to Pepperdine to kind of like making sure that I will be a better leader. And also at the same time, I was very interested in uh, developing uh, my dissertation on director's leadership approach in film during film production because I think it's very important. Um, and as I was my journey through Pepperdine, um, I realized that there is one section of HR introduction of HR, which uh, right now I'm working on a, a new project which is called Start Startup. We're gonna shoot a pilot, but the best part about it, I'm actually involving two of my uh, classmates to make sure that we do research additionally to that, um, introducing HR and seeing how it will reflect uh, during production, what effects it will have on um, uh, everyone on the team and see where it goes. So yeah, and right now I'm working on a um, pilot which we're planning to shoot in uh, May. Uh, yesterday I booked um, a new movie, which is also very exciting. Um, and it's going to be Australian production at the same time on the standby on the Irish movie. So I feel like I finally get to use all my experience at Pepperdine um, at work. And at the same time, I'm a lecturer at LMU. I'm teaching advanced directing and um, directing. So, and I've been very fortunate to be in classes at Pepperdine because I think it taught me how to be a better professor because 
Honestly, it's been such a pleasure to be part of Pepperdine community. Oh, yeah. that's wonderful. Oh, my goodness. Tati, you are doing so many great things. Thank you. And you're a student, too. Thank so you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. If you want to hear more about Tati's journey, please join her in her breakout room. So thank you. Thank you so much. And then last but not least, we have another GSEP alum, but she's just not a GSEP alum. She has three, she's been through Pepperdine for several different programs. So we just love having her come back and participate in our jammy sessions or other programs. And this is Dr. Victoria Brown. Welcome, Dr. Brown. Thank you so much, Dr. Dorn, and greetings, everyone. I am so excited to have a very fruitful conversation with each and every one of you. Thank you for having me. Dr. Brown, tell us about all the different programs that you've been a part of within Pepperdine, and then tell us what you're currently working on. Absolutely. So I did my MA in clinical psychology with emphasis in marriage and family therapy, and then I transitioned to the PhD program in global leadership and change while also doing the dispute resolution certificate program concurrently. So I have had a wealth of experience across the different programs at Pepperdine for sure. Absolutely, absolutely. And so what, what are you currently doing in your profession now that you have uh, graduated from Pepperdine? Yes, so I work for Failed Entertainment, but specifically we produce Disney on Ice, Frozen and Encanto. So my job, um, is to manage the day-to-day -day operations to ensure that the crew and performers have everything they need to have a smooth show, as well as I uh, manage the logistics for how we travel from city to city because uh, we go to about 40 plus cities each season. And then also I will manage the VIP experience that happens before the ice show. And then I'm involved with any PR requests that we have from the publicists when we get to different regions. So I'll assist the performers with that as well. So my so hands are in a lot too with the production for this. Yeah, and you're constantly traveling with them, correct? Yes, I'm on tour right now, actually. Uh, we have about two more months left in this season, and then we go to the studios to reverb, and then we're back on the road again. So we are within the United States, but we also go internationally as well. Wow, that's excellent. If you want to hear more about what, what Dr. Victoria Brown is doing, please join her in her breakout. This is excellent. We have a wealth of knowledge and experience from all of our alums and within our GSEP community members that you can hear from today. So I'm going to pass this on to Yaz so that we can get ready to go into the breakout rooms. All right, back to you, Yaz. Great. Thank you, Dr. Dorn. So many exciting um, speakers to be able to hear from today. It's going to be hard to choose. Um, okay, let me just give you a little bit more information about um, the breakout rooms, just so that you're prepared if you haven't been to one of these before. Um, in the chat, um, Sophia just put in our speaker lineup. So you'll have an opportunity to look at the bios of all the speakers to and, and have those as reference when you're choosing your room. And this is choosing your own adventure. So in a moment, we'll open the breakout rooms and then you can pick which breakout room to go into based on the speaker. Um, if you have trouble going into the breakout room yourself, just hang tight in the main room and we'll put you into your breakout room of choice. Um, if you are able to, we do encourage you to have your camera on when you're in the breakout rooms. It's an opportunity for more of a connection um, so that we can see your faces. And then I just want to also um, remind you to please share the space with others after you've had asked your question to please give an opportunity for others to be able to ask theirs. Um, it might be easier if you use the raise hand feature and there's a facilitator that will be in the room um, to help facilitate the process as well. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning, after about 15 minutes, I'll invite you to switch rooms um, if you'd like so that you can hear from another perspective. Okay. Um, so without further ado, Kate, are we ready for the breakouts? Great. Right. Okay. Um, so we'll be opening up the breakouts now. Okay. Well, hi, everyone. Welcome back. Um, such great discussions in the rooms. I, I imagine it wasn't enough time um, for, for everybody, but hopefully you at least got uh, a taste or got to hear some questions answered and really start to see what the intersection of 
um, entertainment and psychology and education can look like and think about what those options are. So um, before I hand it over to my colleague, Katrina, I just wanted to thank our speakers again for taking the time to be with us today. Um, as you can imagine, they are all very busy um, across different time zones, across different projects. And the fact that they've dedicated their time, that they volunteered their time to be with us today, not only says something about um, their commitment to education and developing others, but who they are as people. So thank you all again for being here and being willing to take the time. I'd like to hand it over now to my colleague Katrina because there may be some prospective students or students who are not yet GSEP students, but are interested in learning more. So I'd like to introduce you to one of our friendliest faces at GSEP, Katrina. Thank you so much, Yas. So hello, I am Katrina and I work in our admissions office. So you all heard about the amazing things that our alumni are doing and you can be an alumni too, but first you have to be a Pepperdine student. So if you're interested in any of our programs and how they can be flexible, how they can help support you, we have a diverse suite of programs that do a lot of things. You know, they prepare you to be entrepreneurs, they prepare you to be leaders, and they prepare you to be adaptive in the work environment you want to break into. So if that sounds interesting, if you are inspired, if you want to join our community formally, uh, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be happy to speak with you and connect you to the right person to apply to Pepperdine. So with that, I'll toss it back to Yas. Great. Thank you, Katrina. And um, my colleague Kate put Katrina's information in the chat if you'd like to follow up as well, too. And I would just encourage you, if you're interested, to reach out to her to, or to attend an info session to learn more. Um, okay, so um, before we close out, I'd like to just highlight a few resources because this is our last Jamie Career Connect session for the spring. And I just want to make sure that our students or alumni are aware of the resources that you have available to you. So at GSEP Career Services, we help our graduate students and alumni, whether they're making a career transition, whether you are preparing for advancement in your career, whether you're still clarifying what your next step is, or whether you are navigating some challenging workplace issues or um, preparing to launch your own business. So I wanna just highlight some of our core services and my colleague Kate will put um, a link to Handshake in the chat, which is our career portal. So we offer career design sessions and these are one hour sessions where you will have an opportunity to really, we'll work together to help you clarify what your next step is and create a strategy and action plan that's industry specific. We also offer document feedback sessions. So if you are planning to apply for a position and would like feedback on your resume, your curriculum vita, your cover letter, or your LinkedIn profile, we can provide you with that feedback and help you customize it to the position you're applying for. There are also a number of very cool, exciting AI tools out there that to support you with your career planning. And so we can show you what some of our favorite ones are so that you can maximize um, your resources. And then finally, we put on signature programs like the one today, and we also have um, one that is coming up with that, which I'll share with you about more. And these signature programs are an opportunity for you to connect with alumni, other industry ex ex um, experts, and then also to engage with employers who are interested in hiring our Pepperdine graduates. I'd now like to turn it over to my colleague, Usman Khan, who will talk a little bit more about our commitment to diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging. Usman? Thank you, Yas. Hi, everyone. I'm Usman, Career Design Counselor here at GSCP. As Yas shared our vision at GSCP Career Services, that every GSCP graduate will have the clarity, confidence, and community to access, thrive in, and transform the future workplace. And as part of our diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging efforts, our vision is to ensure each of you, including all our students and alumni, have access to our resources and services from an equitable lens and to foster a sense of belonging and community for each of you while being able to honor each of your diverse backgrounds and identities. And as part of our resources today, I'd like to share some um, links and resources in terms of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, the NAACP, which has pathways to inclusion for minority communities and for persons of color. So first resource I've highlighted here is the NAACP Entertainment Industry Diversity Initiatives and Programs brought to you by the NAACP Hollywood Bureau. 
and they have programs and initiatives focusing on different aspects within entertainment, as well as writing, directing, talent development, inclusion, diversity and leadership, and many more. We have also highlighted here some trainings and workshops to help you focus on your advocacy and advancing social justice. So some topics here highlighted are like communication skills, volunteer engagement, direct action, mobilization. And then there's also some scholarship opportunities we've highlighted for graduate students who might identify as African-American or as a person of color. And these links will also be shared in the chat. And I'll turn it back to Yaz, thank you. Great, thank you, Aslan, thank you. So we would love to know how the session was for you today. If you registered on Handshake or you are on Handshake, um, please take a few moments to complete our event survey. It is through these surveys that we continue to improve the program and we also get a lot of ideas for new topics. So please just take a few moments. If you do fill out the survey, then you'll be entered into an opportunity drawing for an Amazon gift card. So what is next? Um, you will start to hear a bit more about our next program called PsyConnect. And this is a virtual employer meetup for our clinical psychology graduates who are looking for an associateship. So stay tuned, you'll hear more about PsyConnect within the next month. So our, this concludes our JAMI Career Connect series for the spring, but stay tuned for the fall. We will be hosting our JAMI Career Webinar Series. And again, these are moderated Q&A panels. And so over the summer, we will pick our hot topics for the fall, and you will be hearing about those once they are released. So now I will turn it over to my colleague, Sophia, who will talk about other opportunities for networking and staying in the loop at GSCP. Sophia? Thank you, and thank you everyone for joining us today. If you want to know more about events such as this one, I invite you all to follow us on all of our social media channels. We even have a special one dedicated to our alumni on LinkedIn, so you can go ahead and join our group and stay um, engaged with all of us. Um, also, at this time, I don't want you to leave. I want to memorialize this um, special moment. It's our last um, Jammy Career Connect of spring 2024. So in um, when I say three, um, I want you all to put up your favorite emoji so we can all take a cute selfie together. So one, two, and three. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. It's so good to see all of you. And we look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a great rest of your week. Thanks again.